Hey guys, Sasha from NetbookNews.com. Still at the Acer booth over here with the Acer Iconia. Oh, that's right. Acer Iconia Smart 4.8 inch tablet. We've been downloading a couple of benchmarks and we would like to do a little race between the new Acer one and my Samsung Galaxy S2. Here we go. And here we go. And as you know, this is this is the Qualcomm MSN 8255. I think it's a single core 1 gigahertz. It's not a dual core. But let's see how this is going to perform. It looks a little bit, I tell you what, I, I would say slowish. <laughs> Anyways, let's see where we're ending up with. That's between 35 and 45 frames a second. But if you compare now the Galaxy S2, it's definitely a different. 1743. Ouch. 2892. You know, actually, I achieved already 3200 with this one, but let's go for another benchmark. Uh, Velamo, this is a benchmark from, uh, from Qualcomm. But I haven't installed on my, on my Galaxy S2. No tutorial, please. But you know what, I'm gonna download this one here. So we can at least compare this. Okay, here we go. Of course, the Galaxy S2 is a little bit behind right now. And you know what, in general, this is a, this is a benchmark. It's testing your browser, web capabilities of the device. So let's see if the Galaxy S2 can, can catch up. It takes a while. There's even a SunSpider JavaScript benchmark. By the way, the device will be available, the Acer Iconia Smart, for 499 euros um, in about two weeks, by the end of September. And, um, this translates into $499. No one knows why, because the euro is a little bit stronger in these days, but anyways, that's how it is. Okay, I think we are almost there. As you can see, the Galaxy S2 is definitely catching up. Here we go. I wish we could offer you some background music, but at least you can hear all the construction that is still going on, because EFA is officially opening in, I think, two days. Okay. Not that I have a benchmark fetish or something, but I think at least we're getting a kind of score and we know a little bit more about the performance of the Acer Iconia Smart, the very first 4.8 inch widescreen smartphone on the market. 1280 by 720 is the resolution, 
Qualcomm MSM 8255 1 gigahertz Snapdragon processor. One, oh no, sorry, it's not one gigabyte of RAM, it's 512 MB RAM. Okay. Stay tuned, we are almost there. That's the ninth of 11 benchmarks. Must be super exciting to watch this video, I tell you that. And I'm pretty sure that the S2 is now finally overtaking the Ace Iconia Smart, even though that I had to download the app, install it, open it, while the Iconia Smart was already running the benchmark. Jeez, that's one of the most exciting benchmarks I've ever seen in my life. Not. Now it's doing the benchmark of the black screen, obviously. Here we go. I'm not sure about the brightness of the display right now, right? Because it kind of looks like the Samsung is so super bright. Um, this is set to medium brightness. This is, a, by the way, a super LCD display. This is a super AMOLED display. And I think you can definitely tell that there is a difference, especially when it comes to this, uh, of course, when it comes to the colors, especially black, right? That's a huge difference. Okay, here we go. The Galaxy S2, 933, Milano points, whatever points, I don't know. Let's wait for the Acer Iconia Smart. Oh, it's still doing the very last benchmark. 736. That's like um, almost 30% different difference compared to the Galaxy S2. Anyways, at least we got some benchmarks right now. So this is a new Acer Iconia Smart. I'm Sasha for NetworkNews.com. Thanks for staying patient watching this long benchmark video.